Microsoft made a huge mistake and it's affecting almost every Windows user watching this video right now. And the bigger problem is this has been happening for years and Microsoft has never even said a single thing about it. If they're supposedly concerned about your safety, why not say something? This may seem very basic, but if you don't know any different, this could actually hurt you in the long run. Hello everyone, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for nearly 35 years and what we do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting and more. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, make sure you check out my channel library. I've got a ton of videos in there for you. Additionally, one of the things that I love doing is making recommendations for people who are looking for a computer and they really don't know what they need. There is a link in the description. If you fill out that quick form, I will laser focus and find you exactly the right machine for your budget. 100% free, I'm happy to do it. One quick note before we get started, if you are watching this video on TikTok, please know it is stolen content. Someone has created a TikTok channel and taken all of my videos and uploaded it for themselves. I see none of the comments, none of the interaction or anything like that. So if you see me referencing that PC recommendation form in the description and you don't see it, it's because you're on TikTok and watching it. I'm working to get the channel taken down, but for right now, just please be aware, this is YouTube only. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this thing that's on your computer that you may not even realize. So what is this dangerous thing that every Windows user might be affected by? When you first set up your machine, if you do the typical Microsoft setup, that account is automatically gonna have administrator privileges. Now, if you don't know what that means, let me briefly explain. You could set up an account on your computer, which is called a standard account, which a lot of people use if they want their children to have access to their account, but be restricted as to what they can actually do on the computer. But by default, when you first set up an account on your computer, and many of you right now are using an administrator account. That means if you download a sketchy program, you accidentally get a malware infection, you click on the wrong attachment, anything like that, you have already told Windows that you are the administrator and you know what you're doing and to go ahead and run it anyway. Now there are some things in place like Windows user account control, but depending on what you click on, having that full administrator privileges is honestly just kind of dangerous. The good news is for you is that even if you're an administrator on your account right now, there's a super easy way to work around this. You won't lose any data. Nothing changes as far as how you log in. The only difference is, is that there is now going to be an additional layer of security on your computer, which depending on what you click on could save your tail down the road. Super easy. Let me show you how to do it. So first thing we're going to do is click on our start button and then go to settings. On the left side, you'll see accounts, click on that. And then you'll see up at the top, I am logged in currently as an administrator and I don't want that. I want to change that. So scroll down the page until you see other users and click on that. Now at this point, all you want to do is just add an administrator. So click add account and then you get prompted for the login and choose. I don't have this person's sign in information. This is going to allow you to create a local account and not tie into Microsoft. The next screen that comes up, click on add a user without a Microsoft account. You can give it a friendly name. In this case, I'm going to call it super admin and I'm going to make up a password. And then you have some security questions. Once you have those filled out, go ahead and click next. And now you'll see you have a new local account called super admin or whatever you want to call it. Click that box right there and under change account type, change that to administrator from standard user. Once you do that, go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see it's been changed to administrator for that local account. So now at this point, we have two accounts created. We have the account you were actively using and we have the super admin security account. So what you need to do is log out of your computer and restart and then log in to that new super admin account using the password you just created. Okay, so we have restarted the computer and logged into the super admin account. And to verify that, you can go back into your settings, click on accounts, and you'll see at the top, you're now logged in as super admin. And now we can make changes to your normal daily account. So just like we did before, scroll down, and now your main account is gonna be listed under other users. So if you click that box, you can now change account type on your main account from administrator to standard user and then click OK. And now you'll see it just says local account or it may say Microsoft account, but it's not going to say administrator. Now we have made changes to the primary account, which means you are now protected. So restart your computer and log back into the account you normally use on a daily basis. Have you found yourself stuck with an unactivated or possibly illegal copy of Windows? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, KeysFam, you can be up and running and 100% legal again in about 10 minutes. An unactivated copy of Windows prevents you from personalizing your computer. 
You can use code AYCG52 for 52% off Microsoft Windows products, and you can use code AYCG62 for 62% off Microsoft Office products. The purchase process could not be simpler. Simply search for the version of Windows or Office that you're looking for, add it to your cart, make sure you apply your coupon code, and within 10 minutes you'll have an email sent to you with a new product code. Go to your email, select the product key, go to Windows Activation Settings, paste your product key, click Next, then Activate, and you're done. So we've logged out of the Super Admin account, and we're going to go back into Settings and back to Accounts, and you can see here that it is now showing me using my normal local account, but I'm a standard user. I do not have administrator privileges, but I can do pretty much everything else that I would normally do, like surf the web or whatever without any issues. It's only when I need to make system changes that I get prompted for an administrator password. Let me show you what I mean. So as an example, I'll just go download some random software here just to show you how making this change protects you on your computer. So I'll click this Ola Accelerator, which is probably not good for my computer, and it will download it. But when you try to run it, that's when the magic happens. So as you can see here, I've got it downloaded. And when I click open file, this is where you're going to get the message telling you, you need to enter an administrator username and password. In which case, if you wanted to run this, you could use that super admin and that password, but using your standard account, it's not going to run that software. And because you are not technically an administrator on the machine, what that means for you is security. That means if you accidentally click on some kind of file, that's going to automatically open and infect your computer, can't happen now because you have it password protected behind that other account. Now things that would just open and run like viruses, browser extensions, drive-by downloads, all kinds of stuff, that stuff can't happen without you typing in that password. As an example, if I was a administrator on this computer, I click on this file and it's going to just start running and there's no protection whatsoever from something getting on my computer. So right off the bat, this is going to save you a lot of time and headache from accidentally downloading something. So why is this really that important? I mean, if you know what you're doing, then you shouldn't have to worry about it, right? Well, unfortunately, with malware and viruses propagating uh, across the internet today, uh, especially with phishing emails, where all it takes is one tiny click and boom, your system is completely taken over. This is a way to give yourself a little bit of extra security just in case. Think of it as like your IT guy standing right behind you saying, hey, hey, no, no, we're not doing that. And this might prevent you from accidentally clicking one thing that completely takes over your computer. And honestly, it's just one extra thing you have to type in if and when you want to make a change to the system, like install a piece of software or make a change to the registry or something like that. It's just an extra layer of protection. And personally, I'm not sure why Microsoft doesn't automatically give you access to a super admin account and then let you create a standard account and then explain what that means. I mean, that's kind of basic, right? A lot of Linux users will say, this is completely the opposite of the way Linux works. You know, basically, Linux users don't have access to the root of the computer for this exact reason. And, you know, plus one to Linux for that. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you found it useful in any way, make sure you share it, uh, comment down below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you didn't know about this. Now, I wanted to make this short video for you because this is something that's been on my mind for a while and it's really important. And honestly, I don't know why it took me so long to make this video, but uh, I did make another video that showed you all kinds of Windows settings that I think every Windows user should make, whether it's a brand new computer or it's one you've had for a while. I'll put that link over here and you can check that video out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.